Hello, friends. Uh, looking as we are headed towards Easter, so thankful for all God has done for us. Do you ever, especially not in these times, take time to just think what Jesus went through for you, for me, for us? I was reading back over Psalm 22 a couple of weeks ago, and I just spent a few minutes thinking about what Jesus went through. You know, I'm a big baby. If you if you cut me, I hurt. If, if something's out of place, I get upset. Jesus went through all this without even saying a word about the pain and the torture. Let me read part of Psalm 22 for you, verses 12 through 18. This is written by David centuries before of Christ, but it came out in the death and passion of Christ. Verse 12, many bulls surround me, strong bulls of Bashan encircle me, roaring lions that tear at their prey, open their mouths wide against me. I am poured out like water and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax, it has melted within me. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd and my, mouth sti my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. Dogs surround me. A pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. Now you wouldn't even think of this in relation to Jesus until the writers of the Gospels remind you. He went through so much for us. And he has every right to ask us for everything. The next time life doesn't treat you fairly, the next time you feel someone is unrespectful un or not kind towards you, think what it would be like to be standing naked on a nail between your feet, raising yourself and hurting yourself to breathe with each and every breath and watching Roman soldiers roll dice to see who gets your nicest piece of clothing. Knowing that the people gloating at you, the people sneering at you, the people making rude comments are the ones you created, the ones you made so that they could love you. God help us. May the thoughts of our heads turn ourselves to Christ each and every day.